सो ये जेई मीन फाइनली ओवर एच टी भी मतलब इजी था उस पर मॉडरेट कह सकते हैं इजी कह सकते हैं क्योंकि हार्ड तो नहीं था इजी केमिस्ट्री था और फिजिक्स सब टफ था एंड अ लॉट ऑफ यू आर नॉट हैप्पी विद द वे इट वेंट तो जैसे वेक्टर और मैट्रिक्स आते हैं ना तो इनमें से वो इंटीजर टाइप के क्वेश्चन ज्यादा आ गए वो तो आए ही नहीं कुछ नहीं <laughs> मतलब जो हाई वेटेड चैप्टर था उसमें से तो कुछ भी नहीं आया बिल्कुल मैथ्स डिफिकल्ट था हार्ड आया थोड़ा अच्छा Uh, मुझे तो मैथ्स लगा क्योंकि मैं मैथ्स थोड़ा प्री विक्रम भी टॉपिक बहुत समझिए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट कैन एक्चुअली हेल्प यू गेट आउट ऑफ योर ट्रबल्स एंड योर मिजरीज एंड हाउ यू कैन एक्चुअली प्रोसीड फॉरवर्ड व्हिच इज योर नेक्स्ट अटेम्प्ट ऑफ बोर्ड एग्जाम एंड योर जेई मेन सेकंड अटेम्प्ट एंड योर बिचार एग्जामिनेशन फॉर न्यू हियर माय नेम इज हरी आई सी ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम बिच प्लानी एंड आई गॉट 314 बिचार 2019 लेट्स जस्ट स्टार्ट इन द वीडियो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वांट टू टेल यू अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी व्हिच मेड अ वेरी ह्यूज इंपैक्ट ऑन मी वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देयर वाज अ गाय हु वाज स्विमिंग ही वाज स्विमिंग इन रियली रियली डीप वाटर्स एंड सडनली ही वेंट एंड हिट अ रॉक एंड इमीडिएटली वंस ही हिट द रॉक ही गॉट स्केयर्ड एंड ही tried to keep his flow feet on the floor the body which was horizontal became flat and when he actually tried to reach his feet which is on the ground he was not able to actually do that and because of that he got really really scared and he was very upset and he got very scared okay there's nobody around me and i'm all alone and i'm not able to keep my feet on the ground there's a high chance that i'm going to die and he knew that in the past also a lot of people had died in the waters that he was swimming in but instead of thinking too much instead of actually spending too much time about his own fate failures and death he did what he was doing before he made his body horizontal again and he started swimming slowly step by step so what can we learn from this the thing that we can learn from this is that you have to keep going eventually everybody who is going to hit a rock somewhere or the other every ge aspirant or everyone who's preparing for competitive exam or anyone who is in college by the way who's preparing for placements or whatever it is you are going to go and hit a rock and many of the times you are going to hurt yourself and you will find that you have been put into some place that even you don't know how to get out of the way to get out of that is actually by putting one step in front of the other taking one foot in front of the other going back where you were going back to the drawing board trying to analyze what you've gotten wrong in january 2019 i wrote my j mains first attempt and bro mera bahut bahut kharab gaya tha matlab i was supposed to be one of the people who was actually supposed to do really well in j mains a lot of my faculties were expecting good results i was expecting good results my parents were expecting good results but after the first attempt got over my paper was so horribly bad and i got like close to 96.5 to 6.8 percentile which matlab nid trichi chodo you will not even get nid agartala with that and i was expecting like nid trichi computer science nid trichi ec and like that but then it went so horribly wrong that it shattered my confidence matlab i was like bhai aur kya hi karenge matlab it's this over matlab j means is happening and board exams is happening and i don't know what is the next step forward but i went and talked to my professor i tried to understand how i can improve and i went step by step aaj kya karna think about what you can do today i realized that ncert is very critical for both board exams and j means and bitsat so i went and made a time table on how i can cover the ncert chapters especially for chemistry and then i realized that let me take up the pyqs of j means one by one because i realized that solving pyqs in a timed format <laughs> will really help me a lot for both j mains and bitsat and i found out online resources where i can go and give my j mains paper in the form of a mock test and vast thoda improvement aa gaya every time i wrote a mock test i was very upset because my scores used to be very very less but wahan se i got a little bit of confidence ki like bhai i know what is going wrong now i understand how i can actually improve in the next attempts so wahan se thoda bahut confidence aaya daily i used to put a little bit more effort in such a way that the effort started compounding little by little bit and even Actually, I started seeing better results than previously. I mean, when I was writing JEE mains, it was around 360, and I got like close to 150-ish in the first attempt. I mean, it was very, very bad. I mean, it's not a good score at all. And slowly, it started improving. It went from 150 to 170, 170 to 190. And in my second attempt of JEE mains, I got close to 225 to 226 out of 360, and my percentile was very, very close to 99.5 percentile in JEE mains. And I mean, from there, I got admission in an NIT Ritchie as well, which was In, in an EC branch, I mean, like I was very close getting CS and NIT Ritchie, but I didn't get it. I got EC and NIT Ritchie, and Bitsat also went really well. I got 314 in Bitsat. And the way to actually improve is by spending a little bit of effort every day and improving yourself every day, day by day. And that day by day compounded effort over a period of months it led to a lot of great results. And people don't really understand the value of this. People think that by one day, what will happen in one day? One day, nothing will happen. But that one day. 
which gets compounded over months that creates substantial results that you cannot even fathom and you cannot even imagine and later i realized that with that maybe i need to prepare story so i started studying some books i got the sari hamka book and i started preparing for it and then i wrote some mock test which was given to me by my coaching center which was not at all relevant for bitsat by the way because they were extremely difficult it was called my pad it was extremely difficult as compared to the real g real bitsat paper and i was really underconfident so by doing this by doing more mock tests and by doing more papers i got a lot more clarity on how i can improve and that's exactly what you should be doing don't think that matlab don't think that your failure and your messing up in the first attempt is a sign that you are a loser and you're not going to do well think of it as a way to improve in the next attempt think of it as a big like, next time though i'll do much better right it's an opportunity for you to improve and if you really want to improve in bitsat then this is exactly why we have launched bitsat bastard for you guys bitsat bastard is a mock test series for serious bitsat aspirants we have a community and we have live lectures for you guys on the weekends to help you out with some of the most core important concepts and give you the most relevant mock tests for you out there designed by toppers from bits pilani we are not people who have just aced bitsat we are a bunch of mentors who can really help you and guide you to do well throughout your bitsat preparation now many of the people were asking me like bhaiya humko board exam ke liye prepare karni chahiye ki like should we actually go ahead and do je means preparation now so my advice to all of them would be like focus on ncrt properly ncrt is the first important thing that you need to focus on because it will help you in both ways and try to give a mock test every day at least one mock test or one pyq if you can like take like 3 4 hours out of your schedule for board exam preparation and then try to focus on solving one paper end to end and doing test analysis for like one hour then i think you are in a very good position as compared to other people and at the same time try to understand the previous year board exam pyqs as well because through board exam pyqs you'll understand how to write answers in a more structured format how do you structure your answers it'll help your analytical thinking thing up to a certain extent as well and your means answer should be more of like how do i solve things quickly how do i move fast how do i attempt as many questions as possible in the minimum time possible and by doing both of them parallelly you're not actually giving up on each one of them and by preparing for board exam it'll actually help your means preparation as well some of the top rankers in je were avid avid fans of the ncrt textbook a lot of them were really really into ncrt even before they went and gave the advanced paper so if you are doubled and if you are thinking that ncrt and board exam is not going to help you for je you're kind of wrong so try to balance out try to give up one paper and then focus on your board exam preparation and try to mix it up with bits at preparation as well if you're seriously targeting one of the top bits colleges like bits plan ec or bits goa ci or something like that right so by giving a combination of mock test along with your board exam preparation you are putting yourself in a very very good situation i wish you all the best guys i wish to see you guys in the bitsat bastard community so make sure to sign up for it make sure to go and give your best in whatever you do don't fret too much don't remain in a stagnant position for too much if it went wrong it went wrong it's fine move on that's the best thing i have to say tell you guys i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye